Hi Scorpio, welcome to your mid-October reading. So this is going to be a mini reading as it's a mid-month mid check-in. This message can also count as a full moon message for the full moon in Aries on the 17th of October as well. Um, so basically, how are you doing? Feel free to share. Um, also to let you know, I have been doing daily written tarot and oracle card messages and those are available on Instagram and on the YouTube community page. So see the description box if you want info on that. Um, I basically do general messages every day and then at the weekend I do a general message and a love message as well. And also if you're interested in a personal reading, see the description box for that too. So yeah, we're going to get on with it. Let's see what comes out for you for mid-October to the end of October. What do we need to know for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising that flowed? Self-love, okay. And you can see we've got the little inner child here. So what else do we need to know? So we'll put that here actually. What else do we need to know for Scorpio? Interesting, you got the devil. The four of pentacles, so okay. You have the chariot. And you have the magician as well. See, the, the first thing I'm getting with that magician and the self-love card because the inner child stood out it reminds me of when we go through those phases in life where it's kind of like you get back to a little bit of a sense of youth and innocence where you remember the dreams that you had when you were a kid and that sense of you, you didn't I think a lot of us didn't feel limitations when we were kids it's like we felt like we could do anything we wanted we didn't have that jaded adult mindset of oh you can't do this and you can't do that and you have to follow this rule and you have to follow that rule it was just very much I'm a child I'm excited I'm curious about the world and I'm just going to do whatever whatever I can to be happy and to to feed my imagination and to feed my soul basically and that's what I get with that magician energy is um probably the need to tap into that and I kind of feel like saying remember who you are and I can imagine someone saying, what do you mean? I'm an adult. I know who I am. I actually think that we, I suppose at any given time, most of the time we'll probably feel like we know who we are, but we're always changing. We're always growing. We're always evolving. So we're always becoming someone different and someone new. Um, and sometimes it's like you have to tap into your past. I'm surprised the Six of Cups isn't here. It's not on the bottom of the deck, is it? No. Um, it's like you have to tap into the to the parts of yourself that you forgot about. And I guess a bit of that is coming in. So it's remembering who you are, everything you've done, everything you wanted and tapping into that. We've got the devil here. And I guess that would call the need to, to have that self-love and be protective towards yourself and your inner child. If you've got the devil, which is, it's, um, well, there's something about being held back here, first of all, with that four of pentacles and then the chariot where it's like the person doesn't know what they want to do or what direction to take. Um... So it's the being held back, <clears throat> but it's also in this particular devil card, it's the temptations, the temptations in life that pull you away from who you are or who you were and put you on a different path, sometimes completely different path from the one that you imagined you'd be on or wanted to be on. It's just, it's part of life, isn't it? Part of the process. So I can see, I'd say someone's been feeling stuck or held back and needing to decide what direction they want to go in. But as we, I know it's so irritating when, when this gets said by readers, but it's just true, isn't it? The answers are within you. Everything you need is within you. It's just about tapping into that and bringing it out and doing something with it. And it's easier said than done. And I can say that personally myself, I spent years and years and years thinking, thinking that I literally had zero ambition whatsoever I was like oh you know I I'm just not that person I just don't have any ambition there's nothing that I really want to do um I mean I wanted to be a mother that's something I always knew and I've gotten that wish that came true but other than that I, as a child I had so many dreams I was going to be a writer I was going to be a tennis player I was going to be a singer an actor everything and then as I got older and older and older it all just apart from being a mother everything else just faded and it was oh well I don't know who I am anymore because of life isn't it that you have to pay bills and you just have to work to pay the bills and 
And I just sort of lost myself in all of that. And it's only, I'm in my 40s now, and it's only in my 40s that I actually realised that my whole life I've actually loved all that magical, mystical, like, I, I suppose I knew it on some level, but I, you just sort of, as an adult, you think, oh, no, that's just kid stuff. And then that's how I came to do the readings and develop um, more as a psychic, as a medium, etc., and it's like, oh, this isn't kid stuff. I can actually do something with this. I can actually do something with this in the real world. And yeah, I guess the point is that I keep trying to make is to tap into that um, that part of yourself when you were a kid where all you, you were just so curious and it was all about just the excitement of life and knowing and feeling that you could, well, hopefully for most people, I know not everybody would feel that way, but that feeling that you have when you're a lot younger, that you could have the potential, unlimited potential. So, and I think that's what the self-love is about here and not being tempted by things outside of you that put you on a different path. And that do keep you stuck because is there was a thing that I, um, a friend posted recently that authenticity is the highest vibration. It's a scientific thing. And it was a link on Facebook and I don't really know how to share it because I haven't got a Facebook account. But I thought the person was going to say it's either love or, what is it, love or gratitude, that's the highest vibration. And when they said authenticity, oh my God, yeah, it blew me away. Probably not that much of a shock to some people, but it blew me away. But it, I think it's, I, I believe it. I believe that authenticity is the um, highest vibration. And you might want to look into that a little bit more, actually, if you feel like it. But I'm going to leave your reading there now. So I hope the rest of October goes well for you again. If you want to see um, the info about the daily messages or personal readings in the description box, then go ahead. But I hope all is well with you and things go well for you. Scorpio, take care.